Hey, it's your boy Chango coming at you with another video. This one is Theo Von Funniest Podcast Moments Part 1. And this is brought to you by the Comical Donkey. You know, I've been doing so many Theo Vaughn videos and Bobby Lee, there's like a select few that I do quite a few of it. I get a, I'm starting to get a lot of repeats on some of this shit. So I try to kind of filter real quick to see if there's any like shit I've seen before. This one has some, but for the most part, a lot of the shit's new to me. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. No, it's not a big issue. I think people don't spend enough time with real ass animals. A lot of these animals out here are bullshit, <laughs> trained imports. Trained imports. Fake ass little Dalmatians and shit. Dude, that's people in parks, man. People do anything in a park out here. You got to notice that out here. Like, I mean, where I'm from, a park is a place to picnic, you know? Maybe chill do, out. Yeah. Chill out, make art or something. But <laughs> make art. Big. Yeah. Out here, it's a lot of drug scenes drug people living out there yeah a lot of gang activity a lot of butt sex yeah I don't know, about <laughs> that, dude, maybe. I don't know if that's what a lot of that magic johnson that's what they call it <laughs> you know people out there getting that magic johnson, <laughs> that magic johnson. Uh, <laughs> my brother my brother cried when magic johnson announced he had AIDS. no way, <laughs> he started bro. crying he's one of his favorite players oh bro, that's gayer that. than even getting AIDS <laughs> from the dude who's crying when another dude gets it do you think there's more porn stars or murders in the world? Mm, I think murders. You know, I actually know a guy, I shouldn't say this on here, but I'm not going to say names, but I know a guy who killed someone. And he said, and this isn't me saying this, dude, I wouldn't do something like this. But he said that it fucking feels good. <laughs> and he did say that. Do you know how he murdered him? Huh? Do you know how he murdered him? I don't know anything else to say for that. <laughs> but I also remember... Because where I'm from, if you see two mentals hug and you call the cops on them. <laughs> and that was a rule when I was young. And that's true, dude. That's true. If you see two mentals hugging, you call the cops immediately because once two mentals don't make a non mental <laughs> You know, rarely do they. And it's a risk and it's a, it's high risk, low reward. That's what they call that. Check any Native American's car, you always find gin and oh, femurs or something. You know, they love, yeah. they keep the dead with them a lot of times. I almost knocked this, unfortunately, almost knocked this young lady up that was from South Dakota. And she lived on a reservation, yeah. Oh. And she, like, threatened to have the baby. Oh, um, damn. How old were you? 37 wow. this year. <laughs> it was this year. And she wouldn't even be cool. She wouldn't. She threatened to have the baby, dude, and I just <laughs> met her at a motel. <laughs> and she threatened to have a baby, man. And so that's... Where how'd you meet? Uh, tell I met us on, some backstory, I met her on man. Snapchat. You did? Yeah, and then I met her in person on a motel only hours later. Wow. And, uh, and it went down like that, huh? Yeah. Oh, jeez. And it was definitely... So I don't recommend that kind of stuff. I don't yeah. recommend I people making love to people off of Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> this is South Dakota? Dude, this was in no, this is in different city. She was out of, oh. she was you know out of their whatever. How'd you talk her zone. out of it? How'd you talk her she out? She came of it? out. She, uh, she just said uh, immediately. She's like, "If I have this baby, I'm like, what? She's what? like, "Yeah, I'm having it." Oh, I remember one time I got stuck in a. This dude's wild. I like. <laughs> He's like, I was 37. He's like, how old are you now? 37. <laughs> Fucking Theo meeting chicks on Snapchat. I gotta say, if this shit was available to me back in the day, I would have fucking. I would be meeting chicks on Snapchat too. <laughs> Holy shit, this shit's wild. Anyways, let's carry on. Tunnel, my car broke down in a tunnel in uh, Pittsburgh. That sucks. And I had to defecate extremely and that's french actually <laughs> yeah, yeah and i had to defecate and uh so i got in my back seat of my car and the only like I, I didn't have any choice this was like you know it was like something had gotten into my body like a pink eye had gotten into my stomach Whoa. and uh and all the shit in my body was coming out of my body you had pink it was eye like, in your stomach yeah it was like hey we need all the shit out of here i had gingivitis once in my stomach did <laughs> you yeah. really yeah in your mouth and I got diarrhea from that too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I got down there. And I had to defecate into a 
frisbee out of uh, upside down frisbee was all I had. <laughs> really? <laughs> Be real. Yeah. Yeah. What? And so wow. I'm in this tunnel. There are cars whizzing by. Here's the crazy thing. Yeah. Extremely hard to poop when cars are going by at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, mm. and furious too. Yeah. Furious. Like, and also white people. Like it was Pittsburgh, so it's furious white people driving by. I can. If other people, some certain ethnicities, I can shit easier. With them, honestly, you know, like if a couple of brothers are rolling by, blasting some fucking good music, I can fucking blow ass all day into a fridge. Right? <laughs> yeah. No problem. Part of you know everything is everybody's. You know, everybody seems like they're more laid back. Yeah, yeah. But an angry white dude, you know, rolling by, you know, six, seven. Well, eight they would probably call somebody too, huh? Oh, they weren't calling anybody. I mean, the only f- free finger they had, they were waving it out the window at me. So, <laughs> yeah. They weren't yeah. using it to dial the phone. So you but shit on a Frisbee. I had a shit on the open, the, now, now the, you yeah, know, not the top part, but the bottom part. Wait, a Frisbee is basically a cup, did basically the sides. <laughs> oh, yeah. a plate. It's a plate. A plate. Well, a, a, a plate is just a cup. That's wait, way no, no, spaced no, no, out. Let me get this straight. Right. Hang on. Are you A plate is just a wide, wide, wide cup. No, 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 no. Are you pulled over? Oh, I pulled it. Yeah, I pulled over the car. I think honestly I'd run out of gas. Why did you just shit on the ground? Why did you have to like put a a plate underneath? Yeah, so it's dark. Shit on the fucking guy. Go outside and shit. In a tunnel, you idiot. Okay, (laughs) you should be familiar with tunnels, dude. Why? Huh? Because of Vietnam. (laughs) Because are you gonna do that shit again right now, man? What shit, bro? Why why are you? Why you? Oh no, no, dude. Whoa, right. Right. You're doing that nom <laughs> shit again, huh, bro? What nom? What? You, you thought that I was digging tunnels in the Ho Chi Minh Trail and trying Whoa. to attack you people? No, I thought you, you meant that nom, was the fruit juice, the pomegranate fruit juice that's always in there. What no, is that stuff? No. Palm. <laughs> palm, yeah, no. <laughs> no, dude. No, not palm, nom. Bro, I don't believe in Vietnam. I don't believe in, in, it, in it happened? Anymore, huh? oh, you, it, it's I'm not saying it didn't happen, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you those? Uh, they never found the boats, dude. Oh, right. It's just like slavery. They never found the boats. What, what do you mean tunnels though, bro? So anyway, I'm in a tunnel. I'm in a tunnel, and there's only two lanes going each way. There's no, there's nowhere to get out in a tunnel, like in a tunnel. Mm. You know, right. cars are whizzing by. Yeah. And yeah. so I had to <laughs> get in the back seat and defecate into this frisbee. Right. Mm. And um, and then wait for the cops to come. Why did you call the, the, the cops? come? Had to call the cops. I had somebody, I well, somebody, not somebody. I had just shit in a frisbee in my car. <clears throat> no, I had. To, I think I had a little bit of that poor white anger. You know, the same type of just. You know, nobody gives a fuck about poor white people in America, it seems like, you know, except for poor white people. So, you know, I had a little bit of that angst. You know, I knew, dude, I mean, you know, I grew up around some fucking real crazy poor white people. You know, the dude, no arm, they had a dude in our town, no arms, used to fucking fight everybody. <coughs> you know, that dude, you know what I'm saying? He'd get you in that lurch, he would catch you with his, between his chin and his chest. He would fucking snack you like a snake. We were talking about this dude. I, his boy I, Gert was his name. I, and he would just get you like that, bro. He and he'd no, choke you down. He had no arms. No arms at all. And he'd fight anybody, dude. <laughs> and he would choke you. He would. So if you went to punch him, how would he block? Oh, bro. He'd spin out of it. He'd spin, he'd duck, he'd dodge. The dude had. I mean, he just. And what he catch your hand with his he neck? He dodged, he dipped, he died. <laughs> that reminds me of dodgeball. What was it? Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dude playing <laughs> He has no arms and he's playing dodgeball and shit <laughs> Dude I don't give a fuck who you are If you're <laughs> If you don't have no arms I am fucking you up and taking your lunch money I don't give a fuck dude <laughs> We were watching that movie or that show C. It's on Apple TV, so I doubt anybody else has seen it in the world. But it's with uh, Jason Momoa. And the premise of the movie is that everybody's blind, right? And so they're like, the whole world is blind. and But they still got beef and shit. So they're sitting there starting wars and they can't see nothing. And Jason Momoa is like a badass, right? He can hear things coming and he fucks them up even though he can't see anything. And I told my wife, I'm like, I don't give a fuck how jacked you are. If you're blind, I just, I have a huge advantage. I don't give a fuck, dude. (laughs) And we will debate this to the day we die. She's like, you telling me the mountain was blind? You could take them? I'm like, yeah, I think I could. 
<laughs> Maybe I'm fucking crazy, but I don't think so, man. You're blind. That's a huge disadvantage. You got no arm. That's a huge disadvantage. Anyways, let's carry on. Huh? Will he catch you? Oh, he would just alert <clears throat> catch you. And bro, the thing is, here was the. Oh, you know what? If he hits you with that shoulder, you're going down. Uh, yeah, part of it. But the big move was that choke. He would get. He would catch you like this. Where would he catch you? Your hand. In your neck. He would catch you neck to neck. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Oh, uh, once he got you neck to neck, Gert, you. But this the whole family, the whole family was fucking. He could choke you out. Psychos, bro. Brother had sharpened half of his teeth on one side of his mouth, dude. These people would fuck you up. One of the kids was in a wheelchair. Or just they never taught him to walk. I think I don't even think he was crippled. They just never taught him to walk. And so the other brother would carry him on his back everywhere, like a backpack, dude, and didn't even give a fuck. Maybe it's good these people are. Are away from society, an entire family. No shirts, bro. Oh Whole my God. family, zero yeah, shirts. No, nobody. Those people don't wear shirts. Not the girl didn't have shirts either. They had one girl in the family. What was her name? Jessica. <laughs> she was normal. She was, you know, she was pretty nice. She, I thought she was a sweet girl for as tough as you know everything that had gone on down there. And they used to put a board over the sink at night, and one of them would sleep over the sinks. They had eleven children. I mean, the little, I mean, the house on no joke was two, two of these studios, you know, and they had eleven kids in there. That's but yeah, rough. it's like I grew up in, in that type of environment where it's just like, I don't know, you don't feel like anybody gives a fuck about you. So I think a lot. Of, it took a long time for that, some of that, to get out of my system. I still feel it when I go around like really rich people who think that they know everything. Man, that stuff makes me mad, dude. Yeah, it was funny. I was telling Lee that this morning I woke up. I mean, I slept so much yesterday, and last night I fucking slept hard. I woke up like a fucking 4.30 in the morning, wide awake, yeah. ready to fucking kill Monday, ready for <laughs> kickboxing at night. Kickboxing? And I did my usual shit. I went over my audition on the, the sides, and I wrote it out, and I wrote my stuff for the day. And then I went and I fucked around. Then I went on Messenger. Like, you ever go on Facebook Messenger? Mm-hmm. I went on Messenger just to see because sometimes you, messages accumulate. You don't yeah, know. yeah, you get some in there. I got a message this morning. It was like the weirdest thing. It was like fate. I was telling Lee when I came in. I go, Lee, were you not in the green room with me all weekend? And Lee goes, yeah. I go, Lee, I got an email today from a couple. Yeah. I went to their Facebook page. And I didn't even answer them back. But the first line was, you're a sham. Like a scam, like whatever that word is. Mm -hmm. A farce. A farce or something. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to see you Friday night, and we could visibly tell that you were on cocaine. No. Oh, my God. They were genie. They were like drug geniuses. They had to be Rogan people. When I went back to their page, they had 10 pictures of Rogan. They wow. went to see Rogan like at eight places. They're the ones that always ask Rogan annoying questions on the road. Oh, like, yeah. And Rogan will look at him like, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> oh, I There's no better look than when Rogan gives when that Rogan look. When Rogan gives people, you that look. Are you fucking crazy? They, they, they just <laughs> say stupid shit to Rogan to seem intellectual. And there's 200 people behind your guy. Chit, chit, let's go. Take a yeah. hike. Take the picture and take a fucking hike. Yeah. So you could tell he's one of those guys that he'll see Rogan and right away he called me a farce that I was obviously on cocaine that there was no way that I was clean that my energy levels on stage were too high for my age for me to be on cocaine mm. he said but I knew how to hide it you weren't <laughs> sniffling or wiping your nose yeah. <laughs> oh dog God. as soon as you do a line of coke this shit starts dripping out of your fucking oh, nose dude. that's the first tell I could I could look at somebody now now I could really see it oh yeah but then when I was under the influence mm -hmm. I couldn't see it now I could really see it dude everybody my buddy this one dude used to put his he would start to get a little do a little dust you know put, start touching his asshole bro by the end of the night if we had a couple of bags He'd have four fingers in his fucking ass, dude. He had like a, you know, some of those people eat their hair. You see those videos where people eat their hair, you know? He just had like a weird tick like that where he would just, I don't know what it was. He just <laughs> like, he oh, in the go in the pants? Oh, in his ass, in his own ass. Oh my god. Yeah. I had a guy that used to do this. He would hold up it like he would be talking to you, and he'd go. He would just That's be talking to you and he would just flip yeah, out yeah. time to time. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. And then I had another guy that when he get coked up, he was bald. So he oh. always felt like something was landing on his head. So every eight minutes he would tell you this, and he would look at point to his head 
to tell you that look, is there a bug? Do you see it? Like type, but you can oh, see it. Damn. That's what like he wants you to be an investigator for him. Yeah, like come yeah. on, do I have anything on my head? Let me know. It's like <laughs> those people that tell you your nose is clean. I got anything on my nose. Yeah. He would look at me. I could. He didn't have to say that. He would. St- <laughs> but let's say he started snoring at eleven with me. Yeah. By one thirty, that would start. He wouldn't get paranoid. He wouldn't drive me crazy. He wouldn't damn. say a lot of shit. He would just tell me that he had a spider on his head. <laughs> and then after two or three hours, he would start smacking his head. Oh, come on. And that's when you would fucking die of laughter. <laughs> he would smack his own head. Be honest, Joey. After like the first couple of times he asked you, would you just start like looking above his head? Just like, I think there's something on your forehead. Oh, I tortured him every day. So. <laughs> well, he's just switching shirts, just fucking. So then every 40 minutes... He'd have on a different colored shirt. So if you were a new person, you didn't know. You'd be like, what the fuck, man? You'd think you were tripping even harder. Dude, we had time. And I remember bad acid would come through town. And, like, everybody would start acting a certain way. People would start, you know, I remember one time people wore, like, a bunch of, like, kind of, you know, Grateful Dead type of stuff. People wore vests. They'd have, like, a bad batch of acid. It would come through next, you know, half the town's wearing fucking vests. You know, women are gelling their hair down. I remember one time. Um, dude, they had this one dude at this party, and he'd apparently had taken a bunch of acid he put it in his mouth, and for, you know, four bucks, whatever, he would, like, spit into your mouth like a hit of acid. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? That's and, disgusting. But there wasn't anything else to do. So, so I'm going to let some fucking stranger spit acid in my mouth. <laughs> for, yeah. For four bucks, I can put the acid in my mouth for free. But we didn't have it. Oh, you didn't have the four bucks. We had the four bucks, but we didn't have the acid. He had it inside of his system. And for four bucks, or in his, you know, he'd put it in his mouth. And then for four bucks, he'd fucking fire it into you. So next thing you know, bro, we spent about $36. <laughs> We're fired up, dude, at this dude's party. This dude, I'll tell you, this dude, Icy Mike, right? So this dude used to get ice from anywhere. Like he would get water and he had like a nice freezer. His family had one of those. You ever go downstairs in like some people's house and they keep meat in like an extra freezer? Like they don't want you stealing their meat so they put it in like a special freezer down in the basement or the freezer has like a flat top. It has like a door on the top and you open it like that. And the whole thing's a freezer. There's no refrigerator. You know what I'm talking about? Like a big freezer? Yeah, yeah, the old school. Yeah, so these people had, uh, you know, this dude, Icy Mike, would get water from different places, you know? Fucking local water. Fancy Lake Mead, Lake Pontchartrain, uh, Mississippi River, and freeze it. And then people come over and eat the ice in the summer. We'd go over there and eat ice. He had, he had water from everywhere. He had water from Ireland, France, Lake Powell. You know what I'm saying? So we'd go by Icy Mike's and fucking have a piece of ice. He'd break you off of some fucking chunk of ice, and everybody's sitting having ice from other places. You know, it was kind of. Are you sure it just wasn't. He just didn't write it on the bottle? Like it was all from his faucet. Oh no, you could taste it. it was from different places, man. Some of it was brackish. Some of the shit was fucking, you know, Iceland. Some Where did of the icy might get the fucking water from. Different places, man. He, he went himself. Oh, maybe his family went. I think his dad did some kind of traveling work. <coughs> you thought he brought back gallons of fucking water? Have you lost your goddamn mind? Bro, I'm telling you, there's no other you way. Guys he got tricked. No, there's no way he could have gotten these flavors in this water. No fucking flavors. That they did this. They did. This. Remember, no. Like, I got fucked. One of my best friends got fucked up one time, and he started talking about Asian people. We never even seen any Asians in our life. And he never started, in your life? No, and I guess maybe, like, in a past life, he might have known some Asians, you know? <laughs> and so he starts bringing up their names, bro, and knowing them, and knowing shit about them on this mattress in this house. And I'm like, fuck, dude, you're fucked up, bro. I'm leaving, right? So apparently I'm the kind of friend that when your friend is at his worst, you fucking leave, bro. Because I was well, he's just talking about up. Chinese people. Ah, yeah, he's well, I've never we, met Chinese people. Ne- we never known any. So we what ne- is he saying? He's just saying, like, hey, you remember fucking, like, Sin, like, you remember fucking Sun Lam, bro? He was there for us, you know, and all this shit. <laughs> I'm like, Sun Lam, bro. We don't know him, dude. You know, and he was fucking, like, talking about Dorothy. Dorothy, Dorothy, you know, we didn't know any Asians, bro. And I'm like, I got to get away so from where this you came from, when you grew up, there was no Asians in that neighborhood? Not when you were there. Now there's probably four. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now there's no, two. we live in a small town, dude. I mean, I What's remember. What's the population? 
Uh, we probably had about 2,000 growing up. Oh, shit. This one dude I remember was trying to be an Elvis impersonator. He said he was an Elvis impersonator, <laughs> bro. But he was just uh, a fucking alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need any Elvis, bro. You know? We got 2,000 people. We need fucking gas money. And we, we need, need jobs. Good, yeah, we need ideas, oh. bro. <laughs> Give us some fucking ideas. Those fucking Elvis impersonators are a pain in the ass. Oh, they the worst, really are. Dude. They it? really are. Get bro. a fucking they, life, I got to tell you something. You know, I told you. Yeah, up with that girl. Yeah, what yeah, happened to that you? That fucking monster. Yeah, no, it's always some fucking monster, dude. Bro, it's, I remember this one girl. I brought, uh, We had this thing for a while. If you would visqueen queen a chick, right? And that's if you would bring a chick home and she would fall asleep or at her place or at your place. And you'd put like a piece of visqueen over her body, right? What the hell like, is visqueen? she was asleep. It's like, uh, you know what it is, dude. It's like that, that, that material. Yeah, it's like they stuff for the rain use. and shit Yeah, like for that. rainers. So, keep rain off of stuff, what right? What the fuck? People because, you hang out with? Yeah, yeah, because I hear, like, if you really want to kind of spook a girl, then uh, that's like, if I hear from a woman I heard who woke up onto some Bisqueen once. She said it was the scariest experience <laughs> of her life, bro. So then we were like, oh, we got to do this to some chicks, right? So we had this thing. He would fucking put bisqueen over. <laughs> Is it like the blue thing that they put down? I mean, it always has holes at the end yeah, yeah. because they always need to rope it together. Yeah. It's clear. No, it's clear. It's the clear stuff. Oh, the clear stuff. The clear. Okay, yeah, not, yeah. okay, okay, okay. It's that I'm getting clear. It all confi- it's a little thicker. Yeah, it's a little it's thicker, a little, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bisqueen. Okay. So you wake up oh, under that. You know what I used to use that for? Roofing. Yeah, yeah, it's for that. It's and for roofing. painting. It's all for of that. the first layer of roofing in Colorado. You got to use bisqueen because it's cold. It was cold at the time, the first 18 inches or something mm-hmm. like that. If it's the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little thicker. But this shit comes with glue on it. Or it doesn't. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> I mean, look, dude. What the fuck do I know? I don't know. I mean, but shit. there's about 30 chicks out there that have woke up under some fucking Visqueen. <laughs> you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the board of Visqueen on them? <laughs> no boards. No boards. That's fucking gangster talk. Just the Visqueen. Just the Visqueen. And they Just because I'm up. sure they wake up and they think they've been murdered, you know? <laughs> they probably mm. think they're going to see a detective when they pull that shit off, bro. Oh, my God. That's gangster Son, if you could do that, that's gangsta. Uh, yeah, we did that, dude. Would you watch them wake up, or would you just do- <laughs> fuck? No, we wouldn't watch them wake up. <laughs> Fucking Dexter. <laughs> it's all we left, dude. We had to go to, no, we had to go to the airport. I'm sorry, Leon. I'm not trying to be rude. Uh, you call him Dexter. <laughs> 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 oh. Now listen, I know Leo a long time. Lee always asks you the million dollar question. In one oh, of those, is, oh yeah, Lee's known for the million dollar question. <laughs> Typical yeah. Hebrew, right? That's a, yeah, you with that fucking. That fucking yeah. <laughs> Typical Hebrew. Uh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> Damn, man, this up. is a fucking podcast. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, dude. Motherfuckers <laughs> laughing, giggling for real. You fucking yeah, Don't get me wrong. Some of this mushroom powder is helping this fucking laughter. Uh, we'll listen to this tomorrow and go, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, what what the fuck is wrong with us? When he hit the bottom, whoosh, dreams came out of him, bro. By dreams, do you mean guts and blood? No, I just mean you could just feel the fucking fragments of ideas <laughs> and hope and imagination fly out of his body. Hey, we're talking about being on podcast, and you said we we're talking about Rogan. I said you were on there for three hours. So I said I ain't never talked to anyone for three hours. Yeah, man. Well, Joe and I didn't know he, we didn't know each other, you know. And I that was the first. This- that was the first time you've had a conversation with him. I think so. Yeah. So I didn't know. I brought some oranges over there, <laughs> and because uh, somebody said he like, <clears throat> you know, f- somebody said he likes. Fruits and vegetables. <laughs> so I brought some. I had some. What are those? Who tangerines or tangelos? I had a sack of tangelos at the house. I'm you not know? mad at that. And yeah, I brought, so brought some a little over peace there. offering. Some tangelos. Yeah, brought what I had. You know, dude, like if somebody top ten, dude, I, I could not. I just don't even think I could fight, man. I remember one kid attacked me once in school. It didn't go really well. I got attacked by a bunch of dogs. Uh, <laughs> dogs. That's a different animal. Yeah, but literally, still, literally, literally, animal. literally. Yeah, like, but how do you out fuck there. with a dog? I Two of them know. came back and attacked me on my birthday again a year later. Uh, <laughs> on your birthday? Swear to God, when dude. they come back, they came back like it's this fool's birthday. Let's- you take any bites? Uh, yeah, I took a couple bites. Went to the hospital. It was my birthday. I remember I was eleven years old, and then at twelve years old, two of them came back and got me again. <laughs> <laughs> like they knew. That's what I'm saying, man. Animals are insightful, dude. Which fictional character would you love to beat? <laughs> beat the shit out of, dude. I don't know if I can beat a lot of people. I think I could beat that dude from The Mask. You ever seen that movie, Mask? 
with Rocky Dennis. I could fight that dude, I bet. The fuck is Who that? else? Probably Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> that's not a fictional character, that's a real person. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> it's like riding real on man. prone, baby. You feel yeah, me? That's like, what I'm saying, dog. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's shit, a good thing, man. bro. It's like I meant to say you're like, you're mentally. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay. dude, you ate a dog poop, remember? <laughs> what? I ate dog poop? Yeah, yeah only, but I you only had one piece. <laughs> but still, man. <laughs> <laughs> I never gross. did that. Dude. I know. You never tried poo. I've never had it. Comment down below if you've had some poop. <laughs> Fucking Theo. Yeah, man. Fucking comment down below if you had a fucking turd. <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about, dude? The wildest conversations. The dude with no arms. <clears throat> yeah, I don't give a fuck who you are. You got no arms. Even like kicking, right? Let's say you have no arms, but you learned how to kick. Even that's rough. Cause you got no balance. I feel like when a lot of the power comes, like you swinging your arms and throwing a kick, like, <laughs> like oh, I wouldn't take much for you to fall over. Like, <laughs> I just dude, what the fuck, dude? Are you talking about he's using his, his chin or something? Man's wild. Um, but uh, yeah, there wasn't too many repeats on this one. <laughs> This one was pretty good. I gotta say, I enjoyed it. It was pretty entertaining. Um, but uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit me up with a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the notification bell. And then go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you ate a turd or two. Fucking dogs, dude. I can't. Why? They eat their shit sometimes? Like, that's fucking disgusting. Get the fuck out of here with that. Anyways, now I'm just rambling. That's all I got. You guys take care. Peace out.